Right now, let's stick with our State of the Union coverage. President Biden took the chance to unroll a major overhaul of nursing home quality, which includes minimum staffing levels and steps to increase inspections. ABC 17's Chanel Porter joins us live in studio tonight. And Chanel, you spoke to a Missouri advocate for quality long-term care and said that she's hopeful these actions by President Biden will help nursing homes recover from some of the challenges we've seen during the pandemic. Devin Lucas Marjorie Moore, the executive director of Voice, a St. Louis nonprofit that advocates for quality living across long-term care, says the pandemic was not easy for people living in nursing homes. She said the organization is glad the president is working to make changes. For a full year, they were essentially locked in their rooms. More than 200,000 residents and staff of long-term care facilities have died from COVID-19, according to the nonpartisan Kaiser Family Foundation. While nursing home residents and staff account for a tiny share of the U.S. population, they have accounted for more than one in five deaths. Biden's nursing home plans includes a new requirement for minimum staffing levels. He's ordering the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to conduct a study on staffing and publish proposed regulations regulations within a year. Staffing shortages started long before COVID started, but were made so much worse because of COVID. Um, a lot of people left the industry. Moore said moving forward, both in Missouri and the United States, she hopes officials will be able to figure out a way to provide higher Medicaid reimbursement rates for nursing home stays and to make sure that a lot of those funds go to direct care workers. One of the things that the president's framework talked about was uh, that there's a lot of private equity money um, in ownership in nursing homes right now. Biden's plan calls for the government to keep a focus on vaccinating and boosting nursing home residents and staff along with regular testing. Missouri is now sitting at about 70 percent of our nursing home staff force or workforce um, being vaccinated. And uh, we need to get that to 100. And Devin Lucas, Biden's plan calls for increasing the nursing home inspection budget by $500 million, a boost of nearly 25 percent. Okay. Chanel, thank you. Tomorrow, the Missouri State Senate will be hearing a bill that would allow each resident to appoint two essential caregivers that would have access to that person no matter what. And Moore says this would have a chance for residents not to be locked away without friends and family again.